Hello, this is Will Bradford, just getting back with you after a couple days. Uh, wanted to show you a few pictures that were uh, coming to light on some things that uh, I've heard between the YouTube channel people such as uh, Steve Olson on WSO. And, of course, you know that's the worm, Wormwood search organization anyways I wanted to talk to you about this uh, these rainbows and these flashes of light especially around the clouds it doesn't happen on clear days but let's advance this uh, these pictures of mine into my backyard got some tall trees but the main thing is I try to block the Sun with a screw or nut or something that's going to uh, rooftop let's see if this becomes more light what you see in here all right there's another view now also I did a auto correction on light it happens to be uh, trying to see what the color uh, changes are just minor but uh, enhanced and this is what I got uh, this is the negative. This is a close up, regular shot of that negative, and this is what I get. Isn't this something? You see this, uh, the rainbowish colors, and then you see this big ridge. Now we also guess where we see that in the all sky cams, in the webcams from McCurry Island in New Zealand, Antarctica. Uh, so start looking around here and you'll see there's a ball there. All right. Uh, could be run right here one bigger one here and the question is is this ridge all one in itself I mean it's surely defined right there or if I go farther out you've got a bigger one here let's see if I did a stretch and even this seems a little wild here now that I look at it, it's got a kind of a dark line through here. All right, there's my auto adjust colors. Okay, you'll see one here, 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 and here. And who knows if these would show more up there. Uh, like I said, there you go. I did point out the farthest one out. And I did a little more close up to it. I don't know what this strange structure is here. Cloud structure, whatever. This looks like a cloud creature, some sort. To see them on the uh, International Space Station when it's going looking down straight at the clouds, especially from uh, Australia to either South America or up through Japan and across to the United States, and from South America to Africa, you see this type of stra strange stuff in darker color than the clouds. Okay, and guess what? This might be a, a one also. So, folks, I'm going to leave this up to you. I've given you the information here. It's not Photoshop, not done anything with it except auto adjust color. Uh, in a negative, also, as such as this one. See if there's anything strange. The other strange thing I've been seeing is a shooting light down from the sun 
Uh, sometimes if you just look from, let's say, your camera up into the trees to the sky, uh, two feet difference. And then all of a sudden this appearance of a, a, a beam of light that's stronger than the normal regular ones or the regular off-color ones, the pink and the green. Okay, you can see, you still see that ridge here. All right, that's, that's just regular. That's from the first picture I think I showed you. And of course, this is blacking the sun. And here's that different ray. Now, this is a advanced one because this was not in here earlier, nor that was this easy to see. This one was okay on a half, but so I ask you, what what is this then? Uh, it might just be a cloud indentation or shadow. All right, just wanted to go over a few of these pictures. That's all I needed today was enough to do this for 10 minutes. That could be the camera flare itself. <laughs> Looks weird, these spikes. But that's kind of like the spike we saw out of the earth into the uh, dark sky in the uh, International Space Station. It was circulating. I got some weird figures here. <laughs> And I think that's it. And then we're back to blue skies. Uh, as I'm going to show you, that probably happened around 10, right? 10.03. 10.03. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching and listening.